This occurring challenge is called alternating characters. We have a string, it contains two characters, A and B, and we need to run through this string and return the minimum number of required deletions so that there are no more matching adjacent characters. Here is an example. If we have a string like this, we can run through that string and we need to count the number of required deletions to have a string like this. We don't actually need to modify the string, but we only need to count the number of operations required. So here I could delete this A, that would be one deletion, and then I could also delete this A here, and that would be another deletion. So we'd have two deletions in all. They further elaborate here, if we have a string like this, it contains only one character. Here we have the character A four times. We need to delete three of them and be left with a single character. So we'd have three deletions. For this second example, there are five Bs. We need to delete four of them to be left with only one B. For these strings, there are no matching adjacent characters. So we return zero. We don't have to delete anything. And for this one, we can delete these two A's and also these two Bs. So we'd have four deletions in all and we'd be left with A and B. This on my right is my solution. And we have the string as a parameter. I'm creating an integer variable to count the number of matching adjacent characters and I'm initializing this to zero. Then I have this for loop because I want to run through my string from the first character to the second to last character. And at every iteration, I compare if the character at the current iteration is the same thing as the character at the next index, then this counts as matching adjacent characters. And so I want to increase my value for my match variable by one. And that's how I can count the number of matching adjacent characters and return how many deletions we are required to make as the minimum to validate our string. You can look at the constraints here on the left and optimize this algorithm to better handle cases where, for example, the size of the string is one, but this is good enough to pass this challenge. So this algorithm here runs in linear time and we've passed the three sample test cases. So we can submit this now. We have quite a few test cases, 15 of them, and we've passed all of them. So that's it for this challenge. It was called alternating characters. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.